Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us will cross the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years.
They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus, and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how war... Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to her family and her caskets in transit to London. We've spoken to MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. He'll return to the agency in good time. The pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. It'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. <laughs> 